Happen, mate. Sad to come out of this sock. She turned her sock in the right way, guys, and it all sand came out of it. You wonky donkey. <laughs> yeah. Morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Yes, how many days till my birthday? Oh, my days. How many? If you said ten, then you got it right. Wow, ten days to her birthday. Right, we got to get out of here, guys. Show Honestly, we head. are just rubbish together. Show them my hair. Look at her hair, I remember. Wow, wow. It's beautiful, mate. We really got to go. What are you doing there, mate, now? He wants to go outside, he said. Is he? Yeah, he said. Come on, let's put him outside. Oh, no. Oh, now you've dropped him. Oh, Mum's going to be very happy. You've dropped it in her shoe. Oh, come on, we really haven't got time, mate. Let's get out of here. You've got your binoculars on, guys. What can you see? Cars. You look like a... You look like cat woman. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's Princess all packed off for another day, and she was very happy to go too, which is always good. Now it's hard now to believe that this was once an amazing outdoor swimming pool. Just up here was the indoor pool. <laughs> it's such a shame that it's all gone. It's, it's just it's heartbreaking, really. It's heartbreaking that my kids will never experience the childhood that I had, having buttons on their doorstep. You can still see the old boulevard. I think that was what it was called. You have all the shops either side here. Yeah. There used to be cable cars that would take you from up the top there, up where the fairground used to be. And it would bring you all the way down then, to the bottom of the camp. And, I don't know, just so many good memories. <laughs> it's old entrance here to the camp, Butlin's Holiday Camp, Barry Island. the excitement as you come onto Barry Island and you see the swimming pool there and oh it's just the excitement must have been immense. I can remember as a child walking up here you'd have the big the big railing all the way along here. You could see all the chalets and people enjoying themselves. And you get this effect the same as now. The light of blink in your eyes. It was worse back then because the railings were a lot thicker. Good memories. What on earth is that? That's an odd looking thing, isn't it? Those pillars are so tall, you'd think it would topple over. I'm wondering if it got anything to do with that mud being dropped from Hinkley Point. Never seen that before. Looks like that's a tugboat there pulling it. Just bumped into my neighbour Tom and he uh, gave a donation for Sunday. So thanks very much Tom, I really appreciate that. And I know Mrs D will be over the moon. Now yesterday Kai managed to get hold of the new game, the new Assassin's Creed game. I'm not really sure what it's called but I'll put a picture of it by there. He also said that it's not actually released until tomorrow. So I'm not really sure what it's all about but I'm going to go and have a go on that and see what it's like. Well, I've got to say, I really enjoyed that uh, Assassin's Creed. It's a really good game. I don't know whether gaming interests you, but if you've seen yesterday's play of the game and you want to see more of that, just leave a like and maybe comment down below and I might do that again. Uh, yeah, enjoyed it. What's that, mate? Anything there? Anything Mrs. Dudgy. Mrs. Dudgy, who's that? Mr. and Mrs. Dudgy. Ooh. And me. And you, Craig. 
Fair enough. Which one should we open first? Mrs. Dudgy open. Mrs. Dudgy. Casa del Barry Island. Whoa, dude. Oh, it's Ed. Wishing me happy anniversary. It's our anniversary, <laughs> mate. <laughs> What's it say? What's it say? Oh, happy anniversary, gorgeous. Thanks for always being awesome. Oh, babes. Oh, that's nice. I love you, Thank don't you. I? Mm -hmm. That's so sweet. I know. Well, it's been a picture of you, really, though, shouldn't it? Um, well, uh, it, they didn't have a picture of me on there. Oh, I like Ed and all that. Yeah, I know. It's just Ed singing. Till we're 70. Um, what if we live past we're 70? Till we're 70. Well, I'm ditching you then. <laughs> Babes, I bumped into uh, Thomas from the uh, cul-de-sac and he gave a donation. Did he? Yes. Ah, oh, that's kind of it. I know. Oh, Top yes. man. Yeah. Brilliant. It's the real Tom Joe. Thanks. Tom. I'm going to start calling him Sir Tom, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, that's really kind. Thanks, Tom. Happy anniversary. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. Hope you have a great day. Lots of love. Dad, Mum and Lucky. Oh, that's Lucky. so nice. Thank you Thanks, so much, guys. you guys. Got the champers. Oh, that's so nice. Ready, set, go. Good luck. To Charlene, we just wanted to wish you best of luck for the Cardiff Half Marathon. Thank you for being part of hashtag Team NSGCC. Best wishes, Claire. NSGCC events team. Ah, oh, Claire, nice one, nice Claire. Guys. Oh, my days. Wow. Ah, that's so cool. That is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Claire. Oh, I like Claire. Sending us anniversary card. Thanks, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary, babes. Thank you. I didn't get you a card. I'm used to it. <laughs> guys, we never buy each other cards. We both say. It's a waste of money. It's not a waste of money to anybody who do buy cards. No, no, but... But, um, I don't know, I just... We just I hate don't, checking do them out. Yeah, and the thing is, we've been married now for... How long have we been married? 12 years. 12 year. years. Another thing as well, it comes around so quick. If you're in a relationship where you don't get on very well, then I think it's good to send people a card <laughs> just to say once a year, I love you. Yeah. But I tell her I love her a hundred times a day, and I genuinely do. Yeah, you do. So, I just think, nah, we don't bother. We don't but, let me just say why I did. Because Wong Tong, what's it called? Oh, we cheapskate. Went to, had an offer. I had to pay delivery. <laughs> Guys, I'm offer, sorry. I, I just can't help getting about. I just seen it, I thought. We never send each other cards, but this year, I'm going to send her a card. Because I only got to pay postage. So, yeah, thanks, one, two. Look at this, guys. We had a problem with the smart meter, right? So Mrs. D rang them up and uh, explained what's wrong. And the lady she was speaking to said, I think there's something wrong with your connection. Well, I don't say, innit? You know. We figured that out ourselves. <laughs> Princess went round to her friends for tea tonight. So uh, Mrs. D's just gone to pick it up now. And then it's going to be bath and bedtime. So I'm going to end the vlog now, guys. So I can get on with editing it. Well, that's a coincidence, isn't it? Before I go, I just want to send best wishes to Richard Corkill. He's he's been having a tough time of it at the moment. So, so mate, try stay strong. I'm sending you all our best. So guys, don't get lost, store squashed. I'm going to speak more soon. Bye.